Hey guys, it's Pure Venom here. I'm going to show you guys the Windows 10 privacy video that I was telling you guys all about. So pretty much what this is, is Microsoft has put telemetry software into Windows 10, 8, and 7. And what this uh, does is it sends back uh, a whole bunch of information to Microsoft. So how the computer's working, your keystrokes, your uh, websites you're going to, so on and so forth. Also, uh, it allows... Uh, if your computer downloads an update, you can actually share that update with another person without you even knowing about it. Um, there's a YouTuber called uh, Barnacles. He actually has done a very good video on the full install, uh, how to turn off all the telemetry software, and also how to do it with the software I'm going to be showing you guys today. So the software is it's SpyBot Anti-Beacon. So pretty much don't mind the clicking and everything. You just go to type it in right into Google, SpyBot Anti-Beacon. It's going to be the first website. I already pulled it up for everybody. So this is going to be good for Windows 7, 8, and 10. Uh, so this will turn off all the telemetry software that Microsoft has put into Windows. So it makes your PC a little bit more personal so they're not getting to all of your information. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to click just the little download button. Do not do the portable edition. Currently it is not good for Windows 10 yet. Uh, they will be making a patch release uh, shortly on that. So you click on the download button, and all you got to do is click on the download 1.50.35. And this is going to be giving you the latest version. So I'm going to close out of this. This is going to be what uh, the anti-beacon uh, anti is going to look like. So also, I have uh, bumped up the screen resolution for you guys, uh, at least for the zooming feature, so you guys can see all of what's going on here. So a couple of the ones that I actually know what they are, um, because once again, Microsoft changes a lot of the naming conventions. So the P2P, pretty much what this does is it allows uh, other users to access your computer's updates. So it saves Microsoft server time and server space. Also with the uh, step recorder, this is going to be pretty much a key logger. So what this does is it keystrokes every single key that you pump in. And, my, and it sends data back to Microsoft to let them know uh, how to give you good advertisements and also ads and things along those lines. The basic telemetry software is going to be the diagnostics tool. So whatever happens within Windows, crashing, uh, going to websites, installing software, so on and so forth. That is also going to be one of the big things that uh, Microsoft has been pumping in. The customer experience... This is going to be the feedback forms uh, that users can send back or Windows can send back directly. So one of the big things is, is that Microsoft has pretty much gone out there and said, hey, we're just going to take you, uh, user information and we're going to do the best we can for the, all of that. Um, and then try to make Windows 10 a more enjoyable experience or fix any of the issues that have been going on. Some people you know, haven't had issues, other people have. So that's going to be one of the big things. The Wi-Fi sense, I'm not sure on. Uh, the advertising for apps, all that is going to be is uh, the little advertisement that goes right up over in here. And all you're going to want to do is you're going to hit the immunize. Automatically turns everything off for you. Uh, it's a very quick program. And it and within when you do the actual install of the software, pretty much what's going to happen is it's going to ask you, would you like this program to run every single time you... Uh, restart the computer or update or do anything like that doesn't take any system resources so whoops that's not what I want so it doesn't actually even sit in the background really um, it's just something that Windows starts up on a kick log so also as you can see in the optional list you can actually turn off Cortana so you, you don't want any of your search uh, information going to her uh, same thing with the web search groups uh, that's also linked into Cortana. Now, the OneDrive service, I don't know what they're blocking for the first one. So I can't give you any answers on that one. But the OneDrive group, I use a lot. The remote uh, registry, I don't need Microsoft playing with that. Bing, I don't typically go to, but once again, I'll just leave it blank because I could care less. Now, the, the other big thing that Microsoft has been doing is putting telemetry software in also their Office Suite, uh, the 365, and also just the standards. So you can block the scheduled um, 
not for the 2013 uh, because I don't have that. I only have the 2016 uh, model now. Uh, but if you have a permanent edition, uh, you will be able to do that with no problems. Uh, but also, you will be able to go into the log file and see exactly what has been changed. Um, that's going to be one of the big major things that goes on. Um, and then also, they have the frequent questions, so they can tell you, you know, all about it. Um, this is going to be the very, f there's very few uh, actually good software. Oh, sorry, my English on that one. That was horrible. There's very good software out there that can turn off the telemetry software, but the thing is, is a lot of other users have made uh, junkware or they've made spyware built into uh, their telemetry turn off software. So this has been one of the ones that I found. I've been running it for about two weeks on both my Surface Pro and my desktop. I haven't found anything that Microsoft has you know, turned off or disabled. Um, but there is one interesting thing with the Bing host. So pretty much what this does, um, if you use Edge, and some people do. So if you use Edge, you can actually go in there and just type. So let's say I immunize the Bing IP. So what we're going to do is I'm going to go to Chrome, and I'm going to type in Bing. As you can tell, I cannot access the website. But with Edge, if I type in Bing, it actually goes around the basic host file that Windows has. Oh, they fixed it finally. Um, it used to actually go right around the host file and not let you go to the website. Um, I use Bing for photos and stuff, so that's the only time I actually use Bing. So I always leave that unblocked. And then all you would do is just close out of the software, and you're good to go. Um, but if you ever need to go back into it, you just have to re-log back in, and you can see what you have. And if you want to turn un undo things, do things. Also, if you want to uh, you know, see what they're turning off and what tasks, um, they actually will show you all the registry changes that they do for you. Um, but one of the big things is is that I have found with Windows 10, if you turn off all that stuff and all the garbage, uh, Windows 10 actually runs a lot faster and smoother than what I've seen in previous builds. So that's just something to let you guys know exactly what's going on. But I hope you guys liked the video. Uh, if you guys do have any other questions or concerns, feel free. Comments down below, like, subscribe, definitely help me out. And I do appreciate everybody who's been watching my videos and things like that. It definitely helps me out. I'm trying to push out as much content. I just finished up with my classes for the semester. So I will be pushing out my mouse, mice review and also my microphone reviews. So you guys have a great one. Enjoy the videos.